Hello viewers, welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today, we will be looking at neat preparation. Now in this video, we'll be solving previous year questions of medical entrance examinations in India. The subject that we'll be dealing with is biology. And the chapter that we'll be dealing with is titled Plant Kingdom, which is the third chapter in your grade 11 syllabus of CBSE. Let's begin, shall we? Here's your first question. Plant material, which is used in culture medium, is obtained from A. Cycus, B. Coconut milk, C. Pinus, and D. Mango. Now let's look at each option. Option A, cycus, and option B, pinus, belong to gymnosperms. So they have antimicrobial properties. So they cannot be used in culture medium as they are used to study. Culture mediums are used to study bacteria and other small creatures. The extract of mango is an antioxidant and therefore is not fit for using as for being used as a culture medium. Therefore, the correct answer is option B, coconut milk. The reason why coconut milk is used in culture medium is because coconut milk is rich in compounds related to cytokinin. This is a plant hormone which promotes callus growth and, which, and that is done by cell division. So coconut milk can be used in a culture medium and it is a plant material. The next question says, which is a saprophytic angiosperm? Our options are A. Cuscuta, B. Neotia, C. Agaricus, D. Yeast. Option D. Yeast belongs to fungi and angiosperms are plants. So this option is wrong. Again, Agaricus is also a type of fungus, so it's also the wrong answer. Between options A and B. Now, both of these are angiosperms. And both of these, are, which means both of these are plants as well. But the right answer is Neotia. Because option A, Cuscuta, instead of being saprophytic, it's parasitic. Therefore, it feeds on other plants. Neotia has a, stru a, a, a structure called mycorrhiza, which is essentially a higher order plant symbiotically with a symbiotic relationship with a fungus. The fungus absorbs food from the humus in the soil, and this plant, Neotia, grabs the food of the fungi. So it is a saprophytic angiosperm. Next question. Bryophytes do not possess A, vascular tissue, B, gametophyte, C, alternation of generation, and D, spores. Let's look at each option. Bryophytes mainly reproduce through spores. So, Option D is incorrect. What is alternation of generation? It is the alternation of the plant body from 2N, which is diploid, to N, which is haploid, and back again. And in bryophytes, there is a dominant gametophyte and a dependent sporophyte which means it has both 2N and N stages. So this option 
is also false. Now, if this question was to, uh, to be asked as bryophytes possess, then these options would be correct. But our, opt but our question is bryophytes do not possess. Therefore, these statements, which are true, become false in this case. Option B, gametophyte. As we've discussed earlier, bryophytes do have a gametophytic stage. Therefore, this option is also false. Bryophytes do not possess vascular tissue. So option A is correct. The simple reason being is that bryophytes do not grow up into tall trees. Tall trees contain vascular tissue such as xylem and phloem. And bryophyta, and the examples of bryophyta include moss, liverworts, etc., which are not tall plants. This question states the heart shaped fern prothallus is A, a gametophyte, B, a sporophyte, C, a saprophyte, and D, a gamete. Let's look at each of our options. Prothallus is not a gamete because a gamete is a haploid cell which helps in forming prothallus. Prothallus is an arrangement of cells. Now, option C, saprophyte. A saprophyte is an organism which feeds on dead and decaying matter. Therefore, option C is also incorrect. Option B, sporophyte. Now, in this question, we're talking about ferns. And ferns belong to pteridophyta. And in pteridophyta, the, spor the sporophyte has vascular tissue. So therefore, the sporophyte stage of ferns are usually tall plants with stalks and stems. So option B is also incorrect. Therefore, the right answer is option A, gametophyte. Again, the gametophyte is the less dominating part of pteridophyta. And this part produces, produces the haploid cells, which are later used in sexual reproduction, fertilization, etc. And in pteridophyta, the gametophyte is flat and independent. And for ferns, they are heart-shaped. So this option is correct. In Dryopteris, the opening mechanism of sporangium is effectively operated by A. Stalk, B. Stomium, C. Annulus, B. D. Peristome. Let's look at each of our options. A stalk is a plant, is a part of the plant which holds the stem upright. And it also holds the leaves coming out of the plant upright. It has no role in the opening mechanism of sporangium. Sporangium refers to reproductive parts of Dryopteris. So option A is incorrect. What about option D, peristome? Now, peristome is a structure which surrounds the opening of plant structures such as pitcher plant, which, as you've noticed, does not belong to the division of Dryopteris, which is Pteridophyta. So this option is also incorrect. Now, let's look at option C, annulus. 
annulus is present in the sporangium of Dryopteris, but its function is to eject the spores present. It is not present in the opening mechanism of sporangium. Therefore, the right answer is B, stomium. So when the plant part known as stomium gets dry, when it becomes dry, it breaks open. And so that is how the opening mechanism of dryopteris works. The next question. 13-celled male gametophyte of Selaginella has. Options include A, 12 cells of antheridium plus one prothallial cell. B, 10 cells of antheridium plus three prothallial cell. C, nine cells of antheridium plus four prothallial cells. And D, eight cells of antheridium plus six prothallial cell. Now, we know that from the question that the male gametophyte is 13 celled. But if you look at option D, eight plus six is 14. Therefore, this option is outright incorrect. To understand the difference between the other three options, which have a, a total sum of 13, we need to understand how male gametophytes are present. Male gametophytes of Pteridophyta contain the slag mechanism. The slag mechanism dictates the amount of cells present in male gametophyte, and it is found in Selaginella. So Selaginella follows slag mechanism. So in slag mechanism, there are 12 cells of antheridium plus one prothallial cell. So in our options, only option A contains 12 cells of antheridium plus one prothallial cell. Therefore, it is correct. Therefore, options B and C, which are not conforming with the slag mechanism in Selaginella, are incorrect. The next question, which of the following is found in the algal zone of Cycus coralloid roots? A, blue-green algae, B, red algae, C, diatoms, D, brown algae. Let's look at each of our options. Option D, brown algae is exclusively marine. And these, these types of algae form the large kelp forests in the Pacific. They are not present in roots of plants. Therefore, this option is incorrect. Option C, diatoms. They belong to kingdom protista. And they are not present in soil. They are present in marine habitat and they form diatomaceous earth, which is a special kind of so of rock which contains silica particles from the exoskeleton of diatoms. Red algae. These are also exclusively marine, found in coral reefs. Therefore, our only correct answer is option A, blue-green algae, or cyanobacteria. Although they're known as algae, they're a type of bacteria, but these are the ones which are found in the algal zone of Cycus coralloid roots. Cycus is the only plant which employs this method. Other plants use mycorrhiza, which is association between plant and fungus. Next question. The sex organs in Funaria develop A in Protonema, 
B, outside capsule, C, in the axle of leaf, and D, at the tip of gametophore. 4. Let's look at each of the structures mentioned here. Now, what is protonema? Protonema is the filamentous phalloid stage of gametophyte. So it does not contain reproductory organs. Let's look at option C in the axle of leaf. The axle of leaf is not a reproductory structure. Therefore, it does not contain reproductory organs. Option B, outside capsule. Capsule is present in the sporophyte of funaria. But these organs are present in the gametophyte. Therefore, the only correct answer is option D, gametophore. To make this easier, the word gametophore means the bearer of sex organs, which in funaria are gametangia. Next, in which portion of cycus are diploxylic diplo vascular bundles found? A, roots, B, stems, C, leaflets, D, rachis, and leaflet. So what are diploxylic vascular bundles? These are vascular bundles which contain both centripetal and centrifugal xylem. So xylem which is present in the inside of the trunk and present on the outside. So that is centripetal and centrifugal. Let's look at each of our options. In roots, the xylem is always centripetal. In stem also, it is always centripetal. In the leaflet also, it is centripetal. So these are always centripetal. So A, B, and C are incorrect. The correct answer is option D, rachis. The reason being, the rachis of cycus has centrifugal and the leaflet has centripetal. So both of them are present, which is why rachis and leaflet together contain diploxylic vascular bundles. Let's look at this question. In Funaria, the gametophyte is a dioecious, B, heterocious, C, autoecious, and D, monoecious and autoecious. So there are some things that you need to know here. Firstly, a gametophyte is always monoecious, which means that both the male and female parts, though they are present in separate structures, are present in one plant. So when the male and the female exist in one plant or any other organism, it's known as monoecious. And two, in which division does Funaria belong to? Funaria is a bryophyte. And in bryophytes, the gametophyte is independent. It can exist on its own. And therefore, it's also known as autoecious. Let's look at our options. 
Option A is dioecious. The word dioecious is the total opposite of monoecious, which means the male and female parts of a plant are in separate plants. So this option is incorrect. Option B, heterocious. Now, the word heterocious is a, means that the plant is a mix of both monoecious and dioecious. Therefore, it is also incorrect. Option C, autoecious. Now, this option can be correct because in Funaria, the, gamet the gametophyte is autoecious, but it is not the complete answer. Therefore, this option is also incorrect. The right answer is that gametophyte in Funaria is both monoecious and autoecious. This answer describes the complete story. And when in your medical exams, you are asked to write options which are more correct, which means that they explain the story even more. So the reason why option C is incorrect is because it only tells that the gametophyte is independent and it does not talk about the sexes present in the gametophyte. Moving on. Sometimes the fern plant arises from, from fern prothallus without fertilization. This is an example of A, apospory, B, apogamy, C, parthenocarpy, and D, gametogenesis. Let's look at each of these terms and try to expand them. The word gametogenesis means production of gametes. And pr production of gametes is important in the step of fertilization. And in our question, the fern plant arises without fertilization. So gametogenesis is wrong. Let's look at parthenocarpy. This word means the development of fruit without fertilization. So without fertilizing, you'll get the fruit. And an example of this is banana. But parthenocarpy only occurs in angiosperms. And the fern plant is a pteridophyte. So this is incorrect. Option A, apospory. What is apospory? Apospory is the formation of a gametophyte without meiosis. Now, in the question, it says, the fern plant arises from the fern prothallus without fertilization. The, the fern plant is a sporophyte. And the prothallus is a gametophyte. So in the question, what happens is the total opposite of apospory. So it is incorrect. The right answer is option B, apogamy. It is the formation of a sporophyte from cell of gametophyte. And this cell is not an egg cell. So this is not the egg cell of the gametophyte. It is a normal cell. So option B, apogamy, is the correct answer for this question. Next, the zygospore of Spirogyra at the time of meiosis is divided into four nuclei. How many nuclei degenerate out of these four? Option A1, option B2, option C3, option D4. To analyze this question, we need to look at the time of meiosis in the zygospore of Spirogyra. So, a zygospore, of, which is present in Spirogyra at the time of meiosis, 
divides into four nuclei. But the thing to note here is that it is divided into three small nuclei plus one large nuclei. And among these, the small nuclei degenerate. Let's look at our options. One is the number of nuclei which is present after degeneration according to our graph according to our statements here option b2 the number two does not figure in this process option d number four now this refers to the total nuclei in meiosis therefore the right answer is option three the reason being that the small nuclei degenerate <coughs> and during the meiosis of zygospore there are three small nuclei so option c which is the number three is the right answer Next question. Psychus is A. Monoecious, B. Bisexual, C. Dioecious, and D. Hermaphrodite. A psychus plant has separate male and female plants. A monoecious plant has both male and female in the same plant. So option A is incorrect. Option B, bisexual. The word bisexual is a synonym of the word monoecious. Therefore, it's also incorrect. Option D, hermaphrodite, is another synonym of monoecious. So it's also incorrect. The right answer is dioecious. Now, a dioecious plant has both male and female separated. So they are present in different plants. Let's look at this question. The drug belladonna is obtained from A, atropa, B, opium, C, rauwolfia, and D, solanum. Let's look at each of our options. Option D, solanum. Solanum is the name of a genus in angiosperms, and it produces plants such as sunflower, producing sunflower oil, potatoes, etc. But no belladonna. So it is incorrect. Next, Rauwolfia. Rauwolfia produces a medicine. And the word and the belladonna is a drug. And this medicine is used for hypertension. So option C is also incorrect. Opium is also a drug but it is found in the poppy plant. And since it's also a drug by itself and not producing the drug belladonna, it is incorrect. The right answer is option A, atropa belladonna. So it's from this plant that the drug belladonna is obtained. Now, in this question, the question states that algae are useful because they A. Purify the atmosphere, B. Are large in number, C. Are used in fermentation, and D. Are used to study respiration. Let's look at each of these options. Option C. Are used in fermentation. 
yeast is the organism used in fermentation and it's say fungus not an algae it is incorrect d are used to study respiration algae are plants which do photosynthesis more than respiration so they are primarily used to study photosynthesis and not respiration so option d is also incorrect option b are large in number so you know that algae are large in number but are they useful because they're large in number not exactly some algae such as red algae produce toxins so if they were present in large numbers they would be harmful to the environment not useful therefore the right answer is option a purify the atmosphere the fact is that more than 50 percent of the oxygen produced by plants on earth comes from algae so in that respect they are extremely useful This is the right answer and not the wrong answer. The plant body of Funaria is A, a sporophyte, B, a gametophyte, C, predominantly sporophyte with independent gametophyte, and D, predominantly gametophyte with dependent sporophyte. In this question, we're asked to find out what is the composition of the total plant body of Funaria. Funaria is a bryophyte. And in a bryophyte, the gametophyte is independent and predominant, and the sporophyte is dependent on the gametophyte. So let's look at option A. It says sporophyte. Angiosperms are sporophytes, and Funaria is a bryophyte, so it's incorrect. B, gametophyte. Algae are completely gametophytes, and Funaria is a bryophyte, not an algae, so incorrect. C. Predominantly sporophyte with independent gametophyte. The term we need to look out for is independent. A sporophyte with independent gametophyte is found in pteridophytes. Therefore, option C is also incorrect. The right answer, which neatly explains the composition of bryophytes, is option D. Predominantly gametophyte with dependent sporophyte meiosis in dryopteris takes place during a spore formation b gametic formation c spore germination and d zygote formation now when we look at this question the first thing we need to know is that dryopteris refers to ferns and ferns are in the in the phylum pteridophyta and in pteridophyta there is a structure called sporangium which deals with reproduction and formation of spores now here a spore mother cell under meiosis forms spores so meiosis taking place in dryopteris is during spore formation so if you have written option A, you are correct. Moving on. 
sometimes a ladder-like structure in spirogyra is formed due to a lateral conjugation b asexual reproduction c scalar reform conju conjugation and d direct conjugation so the ladder-like structure that's formed in spirogyra is due to a process called conjugation and this conjugation means a primitive form of sexual reproduction where where dna is transferred between cells now in spirogyra the process looks like this now these are the cells in spirogyra and this is the bridge between them and so it gets transferred here genetic material and this looks like a ladder and the right answer is scalar reform conjugation because scalar reform means ladder like so this is the right answer in which group of the following would you place the plants having vascular tissue and lacking seeds for this question let's look at each of the phylums present in kingdom plantae which are known as divisions so the first is algae bryophyta pteridophyta gymnosperms and angiosperms in algae the plant is thallus like it doesn't have any form of differentiation of roots seeds etc it's just unicellular or filamentous so it does not fit here and that rules out option a if you look at option b it says fungi and fungi do not belong to kingdom plantae so that is also ruled out let's look at the next phylum bryophytes in bryophytes there are there are differentiated roots leaves flowers etc but it is still flattened there is no vascular tissue in bryophyta so this option is also wrong so that means that option c is also wrong which leaves us with with option d which is the right answer and if you look at pteridophytes they do have vascular tissue but they lack seeds the largest ovule in the plant kingdom are found in a pinus b cycus c thuja and d netum the right answer for this question is cycus you know, cycus have female cones and male cones the female cones are known as megasporophylls and they have 2 to 12 reddish ovules present and these ovules are the largest in the plant kingdom they're about six to seven centimeters across in diameter now you should also know that cycus also has the largest sperms or male gametes now these are 300 micrometers across and that's all we have for this episode of neat preparation i hope that this was really useful in your preparation for medical entrance examinations in india now did you know that brain blitz audios specializes in providing free education to all to be a part of the, our journey please subscribe to our channel thank you for watching this video See you soon. Until next time. Goodbye.